talk a little bit about this thing called DDMRP. As we mentioned, uh, MRP has been around for about 50 years. It's oh, actually older, uh, a little bit older than I am. And so, as indicated, all MRPs, it's the mainstay of SAP and Infor and IFS and QAD. Uh, and having been invented back in the 50s, uh, in 2011, a uh, lady named uh, Carol Patak and Chad Smith rewrote the third edition of Orlake's MRP uh, or Material Requirements Planning and introduced this concept of uh, demand driven. MRP. So here's a classic MRP example. Sales of operation drives on the master schedule. Uh, so MRP is from the end item and explodes down through the product structure as we've seen. But however, MRP can cause uh, issues. If anybody has read Ellie Goldrath, The Gold, I highly recommend anybody who is in planning read that book. Uh, it can cause the variations in supply and demand uh, variations can cause what's called the bull whip effect. So you get uh, masses of variations and MRP then uh, is a very nervous sort of a process. And uh, typically spreadsheets are used to compensate for this, but DDMRP is a concept that uses uh, MRP, DRP, Lean, Theory of Constraints, Six Sigma, and has these five components that allow you to define what are called D or strategic decoupling positions. You then define buffer profiles and levels, and those are dynamically adjusted through the processing of uh, the DDMRP, and then you drive the manufacturing organization and purchasing through these demand driven planning processes. And this is done through these buffer and level definitions. So here you've got a, a part number, and you define a safety value, a primary coverage, and an order frequency or size based on some group setting or uh, buffer profiles, individual uh, properties, so that you then define for each strategically decoupled point in the manufacturing system uh, a new buffer point. And this then uh, generates what is called a net flow equation. So the buffer status and supply order generation through the daily application of this net uh, flow equation, which is basically the DDMRP equivalent of a planned order release. So quantity on hand plus open supply minus, and here it is, only qualified order demand, not forecast. So what that does is it calculates this net flow position and then generates a supply order to get us back up to the uh, desired uh, level of buffer. So if you look at DDRP with uh, these decoupled buffers, you go through the implementation process and define these buffer points and their buffer levels. And now uh, ERP can run, run with this DDMRP system for both uh, scheduling and execution. So there's uh, some good benefits to this. Improved customer service, uh, you can re reduce the lead time. Uh, one I like is right-sized inventory. That's one of the issues with MRP that we've always recognized. And then lowest supply chain costs is you're getting rid of a lot of safety stock. And it's basically uh, easy to use for uh, planners and buyers. Plus Dynasys, which is uh, the QAD version, of uh, demand-driven inst uh, institutes compliance uh, requirements says that we are now certified. So anybody that's got demand uh, or Dynasys system can do this DDMRP process. So I think DDMRP is probably uh, one of the tools that's going to be uh, the future of ERP planning uh, as we go across.